This problem walkthrough video will illustrate how to make optimal decisions based on break-even analysis. Here's the data for our problem. The Vera Molding Company has two alternatives for meeting a customer requirement for 7,800 units of a specialty molding. If done in-house, the fixed cost would be $360,000 with the variable cost at $20 per unit. Alternative two is to outsource for a total cost of $80 per unit. There are two requirements for this problem. A, what's the break-even quantity rounded to the nearest whole number? And B, should the firm make the 7,800 units in-house or outsource? To answer requirement A, we want to use the break-even formula where break-even quantity Q star is equal to the difference between the total fixed cost to outsource and produce in-house, divided by the difference between the unit in-house variable cost and the outsource variable cost. So we can take zero fixed outsource costs minus the $360,000 in-house fixed costs and divide by the $20 per unit in-house variable cost minus the $80 outsource variable cost. The result is negative 360,000 divided by negative 60, which equals 6,000 units. We can prove the result by substituting the break-even quantity into a total cost formula for each production option. The total cost of producing 6,000 units in-house is calculated as $360,000 in fixed costs plus $20 per unit in variable cost times 6,000 units. The total cost is $480,000. For outsourcing, we take zero fixed costs plus $80 per unit in variable costs times 6,000 units, and the result is $480,000. Note that in this context, the break-even quantity is the quantity at which you would be indifferent in choosing to produce in-house or outsource. At any expected quantity less than 6,000 units, the company would be better off outsourcing, and at any quantity above 6,000 units, the company would be better off producing in-house. Now for requirement B, we want to determine the total cost of making and buying at a volume of 7,800 units. One of the easiest ways to do this is to set up a table like this where we have a column for producing in-house or making, a column for outsourcing or buying, and a column for the difference between the two. To make in-house, the fixed costs are 360,000 and the variable costs are 156,000 calculated as $20 per unit times 7,800 units. The total cost then is $516,000. To outsource, the total fixed costs are zero and the total variable costs are $624,000 calculated as $80 per unit times 7,800 units. The total cost to buy then is $624,000. As we can see, it costs $108,000 less to produce the 7,800 units in-house than it does to outsource and we can reconcile that difference as being made up of two components, fixed and variable costs. The fixed costs associated with making in-house will cost $360,000 more than outsourcing, but the variable costs will be $468,000 less than outsourcing. This also proves the previous assertion that at any quantity greater than the break-even point, making is preferable to buying.